G'day gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at Dormammu in PvP. Well, as much PvP as we can, considering we only have Timeline at our disposal. So old uh, Fire Red here, we're going to give him a bit of a run. Uh, he's got a full PvE uh, build, except I've just changed the CTP of Rage to a CTP of Regeneration. And we're going to see how he goes. Uh, we saw that he went toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, with Thanos and probably Eclipse Thanos in regards to DPS in Alliance Battle Extreme. Uh, we know he's going to be very handy in Alliance Battle Extreme uh, because of the, his skill effects. Um, so he has, what has he got? So he's got Burn Damage on his second skill, Paralysis on his third skill. Uh, where's his Silence? He's on his fifth, isn't it? Silence on his fifth skill. So he's an all-rounder. He's going to be for all the, all the season's ABX. He's going to be extremely useful. Um, so I think he's going to be another one of those characters that uh, is really going to appeal to the PvP masses, although we'll check that out uh, pretty soon. But I also think he's going to appeal to the PvE players as well. Uh, maybe very similar to Thanos uh, in that regard. Um, I do expect him maybe to be a bit better in PvP than Thanos. So we'll just have a quick look at the build here again. CTP of Regeneration, uh, skills maxed, and we've still got a PvE um, gear set up on him. Okay, so what we're going to do is try and we're going to run this team uh, in Alliance Battle Extreme. Now, what we do want him to do uh, in the oh, not in Alliance Battle Extreme in Timeline Battle. Sorry, guys, pretty late here. Uh, we want him to use his third, fourth, and fifth skills. So his third skill, from a PvP uh, perspective, has immunity uh, to all damage for four seconds. Very nice. Uh, his fourth skill is a killer for PvP. Uh, he has 40% reflect on his fourth skill. Um, and fifth skill has penetration on it. So he's got plenty and a massive buff, of course. He's got plenty going on in his kit from a PvP perspective. Let's see if we can find a few matches. And, um, you know, hopefully some of these Mateo. Pretty sure he'll have his units kitted up with... Uh... So let's fight this guy. I'm pretty sure he'll have his units kitted up um, with PvP... Uh, build and so what we're going to do we're going to try a run on auto now one thing I did notice I did try this uh, a couple of times Dom his skills take ages to come off cooldown at the start of the time I match um, So he's definitely not ideal to come in in first position. So let's see what he does here second skill not good First skill not good fourth skill good. That's what we want and yeah, so tier 2 silver surfer uh, and he, he does have a regeneration on him. Or does he? No, he doesn't. But, I oh know she's got a greed on her. So let's see, this will be interesting, an interesting matchup. Can he escape? Oh yeah, so he's broken free of the, um, of the constant piercing guard break. He's done his fifth skill, which is good, we want that. We really want three and five. No, he's doing two. He keeps on doing his two. Get out of that routine. Throw a decent skill down. So she demolishes him with a CTP of greed. Fifth skill. Pretty tough to take down the queen, eh? We might try this again on uh, manual play in a second. And just see if we can get that three, four, five combination going uh, enough to actually take her down. He's doing, he's hanging in there. I mean, he's no, he's no pushover, but he is a pushover when that happens. So we're gonna try that match again. I'm gonna take it off uh, autoplay and actually try manual and see if we can get a different result. Now we may not get a different result. Silver Surfer Black is gonna be tough for him always <clears throat> because of the reflect. And he does have such big skills on his reflect. Now uh, on it on his on his kit, Dormammu, he's certainly got a big chance of killing himself. <clears throat> okay. So it's, uh, skills off cooldown anyway. So let's see. I want three first. Then I want four. Yep. <clears throat> Try and do that again. Three, four. Not bad. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. 
That's stun locking shit, man. That skill is just such garbage. And she's got me again. Uh, I just wasn't quick enough on the skill transition. I'm gonna try that again. I think I'm gonna do a little bit better there. I mean, you can sort of see that he goes all right, but it's just Gene with with that with a pierce penetration. Um, you know that that sort of continuous guard breaking crap. Man, it's it kind of it does get a little bit old. Eh? It's coming up against the same character and over and over, and she just does the same thing. She just gets you with that four skill, and you just you just cark it. So I think you've got to chain, the, chain those skills together a bit quicker. Uh, maybe a bit too quick there. Hmm. He has a weakness there as well. He's reflect, the reflect on his full skill is not working anywhere near as good as what I thought it would. I'm not sure if it's a bug, but his one skill doesn't seem to work in the test server at all. So, that gene is just demolishing him. We're going to try another team. And unfortunately, it's not looking... Yeah, you know, it, it might just be a total mismatch team-wise. But let's try uh, Wolfie Go. Let's try him up against the Hulk. Uh, I'm assuming that he has a CTP... Oh, what am I doing there? I'm assuming he has a CTP regeneration on Hulk as well. So not probably not a bad test. We'll let it run on auto to start off with, and then we'll, um, if we go no good, then we'll see if we can um, move it over to manual play. I have to admit, I thought he'd go a fair bit better against Gene um, and Silver Surfer than what he just showed in that um, in that last timeline thing. We've got a real little slap fest going on here uh, with Wasp, so I might just end that, or will I? And she, how good is she? How good is she? For effectively a free-to-play character. Okay, give me a four. Yeah, so Hulk's weakness as well is the reflect, of course. Nope, <clears throat> oh, got me. Yeah, got him back. So, I mean, you can take down Hulk. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry, I manually played that. I was going to let it play on auto, wasn't I? Shit, let's just try it again. We'll try it again on auto. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I was doing there. Just shows that my brain is absolutely nowhere at this point in time. I'm not going to muck around too much here. I'm just going to bring him in. Alright, so this is on auto. I'm not touching anything. He does his fifth skill straight away. It was a promising start. He's hanging in there. He's still doing he's doing his shit skills. He's doing his first and second skills way too much. So still an auto play here. He's got his full skill going, not not bad. But we really want that three, four, and five. Uh, so he probably needs his skill cooldown adjusted, so he, he stops spamming that two skill all of the time. And there we go. It's, um, I don't know. This is an interesting one. Now, Tom, my battle is not a true comparison of how someone's going to go in Alliance Conquest or Alliance Tournament, for that matter. So take this video with a grain of salt. Also note that I do have him set up with PvE uh, Uru and uh, PvE Uru, not PvP Uru. So... Come on, die. Let's take that off autoplay. I might find one more opponent. We'll give it one more run and give you guys a little bit more of a taste of of what he uh, what he can or can't do. But yeah, I have to admit, I thought he'd be way better uh, than what he is uh, in time on battle. I really thought that he'd be way better. Let's see this, Mr. Prehens. Hmm. 
I don't think that team's going to be too much of a challenge. That looks like a challenge. In Inceto Mavello. Alright, now it's going to be interesting to see if he actually has anything on his gene. We'll just quickly press her gear button. Looks like he's got, yep. So he's got a greed. It's a greed. Nope, forgot to turn on autoplay. So just turned on autoplay now. Yeah, it's agreed. <clears throat> so you can hang in there, you can take a bit of punishment. I think he's going to dish it out a bit on this one as well. It's like he's uh, in, a, in a slightly better rotation for some reason. Bit of a double, double kamikaze going on there. Let's see if he can stick in there this time. Yeah, that gets the job done. So he's fared a fair bit better against that gene. Um, and this Dormer move. He probably has a CTP of Rage by the looks of that. Well, hang on. I died. Okay, so I'm going to take on that team again. I'm going to take it off order. I'm actually going to play it. And see if I can <laughs> see if I can die quicker than the autoplay. No. Actually I'll try. I'll try and survive. Three, four, five. How strong is Jean? See if she can withstand the tier three. It's barely touching her. Her tier three, on the other hand, potent. Okay. Got on. Certainly plenty of stuff going on, on the screen. So I don't know guys, what do you what do you reckon? It's kind of, I don't know, certainly it's a bit inconclusive. He seems to be able to take down this gene, but not the other gene, and that, that just could be purely because of build. Uh, the other gene may have a really good build, and this one may not have the best build. So guys, what do you think based on those uh, few quick runs uh, in the timeline? Do you think he's going to be PvP? Do you think he's going to be PvE? Uh, do you think the jury's still out and you have no idea at all? Uh, kind of like me. Um, be interested to hear your thoughts on uh, Dormammu uh, in Timeline Battle and your predictions as to whether he's going to be good in, a, I'm pretty sure he's going to be good in Alliance Conquest. Uh, what do you think about Alliance Tournament? Do you think he'll be any good in Alliance Tournament? Uh, interested to get your feedback below just based on what you've seen. And you've seen exactly what I've seen. Uh, I haven't done any other testing besides that. Pretty cool dude. Oh, the Flame Sword. I've got a couple of comments that these people don't like his uniform. Kind of grows on you. Uh, it looks a bit weird at first with the salmon colour and the, the massive golden belt. But um, I know it does grow on you. It's a pretty cool uniform when you actually look at it and get used to it. All right, guys. Have a good one.